It is 93 degrees outside and I'm filming in a sweater. And I think that's part of what's fundamentally wrong with me as a person. Hey guys, it's Andy back at you with another video. Thank you so much for stopping in to Dark Angel Beauty. And I have something else that I'm very excited to share with you today. You guessed it, it's another haul from Ulta. I'm so sorry guys. I really need help though. I can't stop this, it's a problem. But as much as I'm spending at Ulta, I'm doing it for your viewing pleasure. So, you know, sacrifices have to be made. Now, I told you guys in my last haul video about a sale they were doing. Um, I actually put in this order the day after I put in that haul because I have a problem and I can't stop myself. So I did, I did this one because as a diamond level, they send you these perks at the beginning of the month and they say, Hey, you'll get this free, this free, this free, this free. If you make all these requirements and then a bunch of free gifts come at you and I can't resist free gifts. We all know this. I can't resist sales. I can't resist free gifts and I really can't resist coupons. So. I had a trifecta going at me and I went ahead and made another purchase. So that being said, what I bought here today, I spent after tax $121.87. I had a $3.50 coupon, which is not that much, but it did come off. Let's jump into this box. I'm going to divide it up based on what I got for free, which I'll do at the end and what I paid for. So first thing that I paid for, and this is one, there's another, beauty blogger that I follow on Instagram and I really like her stuff and she reviewed this palette and said that she didn't much care for it. So I held off on getting it, but it's the Venus XL 2 from Lime Prime and I love their original one, the Venus XL, which was a lot of like reds and pinks and beautiful shimmers. I loved it. And so I purchased that at full price. This one was on sale. It's normally a $58 palette. It was on sale for $46.40. $46, I can do numbers. Um, 4640. And I've still won it. Her review was pretty spot on just from like initial look, not having played with the colors or gotten to test them at all. Um, but basically she said that in theory it should be a pretty palette, but when you look closely at it, there's only four matte shades, and it's kind of hard to work with a palette that only gives you four of what should be your blending shades and your crease shades and all that. To work with a palette that's all shimmers is incredibly daunting. I don't like to do it personally. I prefer to have all mattes and then maybe like one shimmer, maybe two shimmer shades in my eye look. So her complaint was valid. Um, it is a gorgeous palette though. I mean, it's just so hard. There's a lot of neutral colors. Um, I'm not gonna swatch anything because I really, after having seen the review, I really want to dig into the palette and work with it to see if I like it and maybe it's just my opinion versus her opinion. I don't know, but I did pick that one up. Um, I knew I was gonna tire it at some point, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, the next thing that I got was this Yes To Cucumber Cooling Hydrating Primer. So I've talked about Yes To a couple times. I did it in one of my skincare videos. Love their makeup wipes. I did not know that they offered primer sticks. So I figured I would try that out. It was a $9.99, so normally a $10 priming stick and I paid $7.99 for it. Plus um, my coupon went towards this cause you know, Ulta does that weird thing where they only let you take it off like brands that they determine are worthy of it. So, so that um, was one of the purchases that I made last minute cause I was like, oh, that's on sale, I'll get that. And along with that is, I'm not gonna lie, this has been really hard for me not to open because I've had this box for a couple days, but I wanted to wait till we did the video. These are the EcoTools 360 Ultimate Blending Brushes and they have incredible reviews. And I normally don't purchase brushes. I normally wait for them to come in my BoxyCharm or my Ipsy or I get them in kits. So to make the decision to purchase a brush, it's kind of a big deal for me, but they've got these like really cool, like circular, they're like literally circular brushes and I feel like for foundation and for blending purposes, they're going to be amazing. So that's why I had to try them. I might have wasted money on them. Probably not. It was only a, it was only $12.74, normally $16.99. So it was only like a $13 kit, which for three brushes, I don't think is too unreasonable. Um, so I did pick that up hoping that it will work. And then I only bought four more things that I paid for. These were the expensive things. They were the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundations. I say they're the expensive things. Actually, the palette was the most expensive, but 
I've never used these before. I know a lot of people have. I know a lot of people have very diverse feelings about them and I think it kind of depends on whether or not you like foundation sticks or you prefer a foundation that's liquid or powder. I've never really used foundation sticks so I'm interested to see how they work for me. Um, I may hate them, but they were on sale for $12.50 so I paid a total of $50 for four of them. Um, they're normally uh, $25 a piece. So basically I got them, I mean basically, I got them for 50% off. Uh, I bought two different shades because I wasn't sure looking on the website which one was going to be mine. I got natural and I got cool beige. Just from initial inspection, I think I'm going to have to mix the two to make my shade. I don't think that either one is really what I am. Maybe if I'm really tan, natural would work. And maybe if it's like dead of winter and I haven't seen the sun in six years, like a child with influenza, then I might be cool beige. But I think it's going to be way too light. So I'll show you guys what they look like. I have not played with these yet. I've left them in the box trying to be good so that I can do a, either a review of them or play with them a little bit and figure it out. But this is the tone, cool beige. Like it, you can see, it's pretty ghostly. I really wasn't expecting it to be that light based on the pictures. So we'll see how it winds up playing on my skin. It may wind up being a concealer because it's that light or I may use it for contour and highlight like highlighting on my contour. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then this is the shade natural, creamy natural. Natural, just regular natural, not clean. And this is, I think, a little bit closer to what I am actually, but it's still just a touch darker than what I would prefer, I think. So we'll see how it works out. Uh, they are good sizes though. I mean, thinking about what you could, I've bought definitely not name brand, or not name brand, more drugstore brand, not that they're not name brand, but drugstore brand um, products at, <laughs> more than $12.50 so it's not a bad deal for an Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. We'll see how they work. Okay so that was everything that I actually spent money on. The rest of it is free gifts that I was given because of the diamond rewards. So each of the rewards has different requirements, um, different purchases you have to meet and things like that. If you made any purchase online at all from Ulta that day and you were a diamond member you got a free all soft um, con softening conditioner for dry brittle hair and a softening shampoo and it's from Redken and they're full size so each one's probably like 20 or so dollars I don't know exactly I probably should have researched that sorry um, but I got them both for free that was just because I, I made a purchase and I'm a diamond member so I also got a two-piece Clinique set uh, I had to spend $15 and obviously I spent that. So I got this really cool two-piece Clinique set. I like Clinique stuff and there's a while that I only use their makeup remover. So I was excited to see it, but I got a cleansing balm, that guy, cleansing balm. And then I got a little mascara in black, which I mean, I've said before that I don't ever purchase mascaras. So if you're going to give me a free mascara, it works for me. And then I also got this really cool Ulta Beauty set. I, they've offered this set before as a free gift. I picked it up last time, so I got it in a different color. But it's got good stuff in it. It's got a lot of stuff. And I actually, I mean, I've got quite a few of these from different times. Um, I'm probably going to, when we do our first giveaway, I'm probably going to do at least one of the sets in a giveaway. It may not be this one in particular, but I promise that it, there will be one in there. Um, but it always, it comes with just a medley of good stuff, primers, lips, colors, uh, always comes with like a little palette and a mascara and some brushes. So pretty, pretty good. I had to spend $60, I think, to get that one. And I think that's well worth it. And then I complained about this in the last one. They were still doing that skincare giveaway. Cool things for these two pieces of cardboard. Appreciate it. But overall, it was a really good haul. Um, I'm excited to play with the stuff that I got. I'm actually more excited for the lower end stuff. I say lower end, the more affordable stuff is probably what I should say. Um, the Yes2 hydrating primer stick and the Eco Tools brushes, I think they're going to be a really cool asset. Um, and then we'll see how the rest of the stuff works. So not too big of a haul, but like a lot of good stuff for a good price, I think. So I'm happy about it. Um, hopefully you guys liked watching this video. I have lots of haul videos because I can't stop spending money on makeup. Sorry. So please go on over to one of those videos as well. And if you like our page, then give us a subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see every time I spend too much money on makeup, which is all the time. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. 
And always remember, stay girly, but with a dark twist. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Nope. Nope.